and introduce my really good friend, Frank Santos. And uh, let's get underway. Let's spend the next 45 minutes uh, on, on a deep dive into Vanco. There you go, buddy. Sounds good, Gary. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate everyone's time on this call. Uh, again, what we want to do is fill you guys in on some of our products. Uh, what's that one is carrying some uh, some new products right at the end. Um, as uh, Gary mentioned, uh, please, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to, to use that uh, Q&A log or even unmute yourselves. You guys can uh, ask questions that way. I'm not sure if that's available, but I'll be monitoring the Q&A log. So my name is Frank Santos. I'm the uh, director of training for, uh, for Vanco. Uh, we're based out of Illinois. If you are not familiar with uh, with Vanco, uh, born in 1957 in Illinois, where we still reside today, uh, originally a provider of mobile and CB accessories. I can happily tell everyone on this call that we no longer dabble in mobile or CB accessories, thank God. Uh, over the past 20 years, we focused on uh, audio and video. Uh, we first started, first started off with HDMI, HDMI cabling. And over the past 20 years, we have graduated into HDMI distribution. So you name what we got at HDMI extenders, splitters, switchers, matrices, HDMI over IP. When you think uh, of HDMI and HDMI distribution, think of Vanco because that is our specialty. Okay. Over the past eight or nine years, we've also focused on audio with our two audio brands called Beale Street Audio, Architectural Speakers, and then uh, Pulse Audio, which we'll cover today. A uh, line full of just different types of audio solutions. Quite honestly, when we first started, we only had about three or four SKUs. We listened to our distributors, our dealers, uh, you guys, obviously, on this call. And you guys let us know what kind of issues that you guys were uh, coming across on the field and, and said, hey, it'd be awesome if we had this uh, product. And, and that's how we developed that line. So we'll cover that today. Uh, Vanco is actually short for Van Company. We used to sell products, uh, believe it or not. Dealer, dealer, distributor to distributor. Obviously, we no longer do that. Uh, today, we're headquartered out of uh, Batavia, Illinois, just uh, west of Chicago. Up at the top of that slide there is our headquarters. One thing that we like to brag about at the headquarters is our QC testing uh, facility upstairs in our warehouse. Uh, it's messy. It's messy for a reason. But as you can see, each tester has their own table. They got their own displays. They're, they got their own sources, different types of combinations. Why? We like to test our equipment, okay? We used to test it 100% in terms of every product. We can no longer do that due to the amount of SKUs that we have. We have thousands and thousands of SKUs today, but we're still we're still testing the high dollar, the high complex components. So the HDMI extender, switcher splitters, matrix units, HDMI over IP, amplifiers, multi-channel amplifiers, we're testing twice. Why do we do that? Number one, we understand there can be compatibility issues, right? We understand that these products obviously manufactured overseas. They're tested, obviously, or I should say we are testing um, with equipment over there, but it's much different than the equipment uh, over here in the States. So we want to make sure it works with our displays and our sources here. Okay, so that way when you guys get it, we've already tested it twice. Um, two, uh, shipping issues, right? You drop a box. Again, electronics can break. We want to eliminate any DOAs that you guys receive in the field. We understand uh, that can be an issue. So we want to eliminate that. Brand partners include JVC, Yamaha, Vivotech, Trendnet, Luxel, and Netgear. And last but not least on this slide, I actually head up the tech support team as well. Great group of people. Let us know how we can help. Uh, give us a call, shoot us an email, or even chat with us on our website. Uh, we can also do customized testing for you guys as well. So if you guys are looking to integrate our products with other components, uh, we, can, we can certainly test out our components all together for you. Uh, so let us know how we can help out. Now, Vanco, when I first started off 10 years ago, it used to be just one brand. Uh, we've grown to six different brands, four of them our own, two of them we partner up with. In fact, we also partner up with another company we'll mention right at the end here. So with Vanco, that is our comprehensive line of AV products, accessories, connectivity. We'll talk about that in a bit, but that's all of our cabling, our networking, our wall mounts, IR distribution products. Evolution is a line that we created for HDMI distribution products. So again, the extenders, the distribution products, matrix units, HDMI over IP, Pro Series line um, with the 10-year warranty. So it's a very aggressive warranty. Our two audio lines, Beale Street Audio, as I mentioned, our, our line of architectural speakers. We didn't create this company. We actually acquired them uh, back in 2016. Great architectural speakers that have a patented design. 
And then, as I mentioned it before, Pulse Audio, again, is a, a line of just different types of audio solutions that are unique. That again, we listen to the feedback of our dealers and um, we built that line uh, from your feedback. And the last but not least, the, the two lines down below, ProSell and Monster, uh, not our own companies. However, we have official partnerships with uh, ProSell is the professional and commercial series battery from the number one retail battery out there, Duracell. Okay, so if you guys need commercial grade batteries, we certainly have them through ProSell. And then Monster, through our retail line, we've had over a 15 year plus relationship with. Um, we're bringing forth some of the products through the distribution channel. Uh, starting off with uh, the power products, so the surge protectors, the wall taps, uh, so on and so forth. So let's talk about the Vanco brand. So our Vanco brand, what we start off with, it's made up of all sorts of audio and video cables. Obviously, HDMI is going to be number one there. But we also have VGA, all sorts of audio products, Cat 5V, Cat 6 uh, patch cables, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. We do do some HDMI active distribution products within this line, but it's very simple stuff. Again, all the pro series stuff is going to be in the evolution line. We have IR distribution, which we'll cover a few SKUs today. All sorts of converters, connectors, adapters, HDMI, audio, networking solutions, patch panels, keystone wall plates, inserts, so on and so forth. Uh, speaking of the, the wall plates, Datacom, networking solutions. Obviously, I, I can bore you guys to death with all these different wall plates, but I'm not. Uh, they, they sell well, obviously, but you can see that brush cable wall plate. That's our specialty, okay? Um, and then uh, last but not least, display mounts. We actually just overhauled all of our display mounts, fixed, tilt, articulating, and then we just added two more SKUs for pop-out mounts, single mount, and then a video wall mount as well. We're focusing on more video wall type products. In terms of the networking solutions, uh, again, I mentioned it. We have keystone inserts, all sorts of different keystone inserts for our keystone wall plates. Uh, all sorts of patch panels, Cat 5V, Cat 6, and then uh, Cat 5V, Cat 6 cables. In fact, I do want to highlight uh, one of our special Cat 6 uh, cables. These are super slim Cat 6 patch cables. Uh, very popular. In fact, Stat1 carries these uh, cables. Uh, the key here is the flexibility and the slim gauge, 28 gauge. Uh, lengths range from, uh, actually, we just expanded it six inch all the way up to 50 feet. We've added new colors. So all these colors are available. Um, and the number down below is SCAT6, followed by the length and then the color. So these are super helpful. Uh, I myself replaced all my patch cables on my rack to these. These are a lot easier to manage. Uh, because of the the gauge and how flexible they are, so keep that in mind. If you guys are looking for uh, um, if you guys are looking for uh, Slim Cat Six, we've got them. Stat One uh, has them. Um, question from Carrie: Does Vanco compete with Binary? Uh, yes, yes, we. Uh, you know, Binary is a competitor, but um, it fills a different need than we are. So while we do have some duplicate SKUs. There are also some SKUs that uh, are complementary of binary as well, is what we found with uh, with binary products. Great question. All right, let's talk about IR solutions. So, you know, people tell us that infrared is going away, and we've heard that for the past 10 years, and here we are 10 years later, and it's still very prevalent. Your Blu-ray players use it. Some of your cable box use IR. Uh, so we do have some IR solutions, okay? Uh, three different SKUs here. The most simple one is going to be the IR over HDMI. That's as simple as taking this kit. It comes with two little adapters that attach to each end of the HDMI cable. Obviously, the adapter then plugs in your TV. The other adapter plugs then into your source. The adapters have a 3.5 millimeter jack to where we can plug in our IR accessories, the receiver and the emitter. So if we're looking to hide our cable box or Blu-ray player in a cabinet, Obviously, IR is going to be line of sight. How do we control it? We can utilize that using this kit. So the IR receiver at the display, you point at that. It shoots down the uh, HDMI cable, spits it out the other side, and that way we're controlling our source even though we can't see it. Now, the two other SKUs are a bit more complex in terms of having more sources. So obviously, the IR over HDMI is one-to-one. -one. What if you had multiple sources? Well, we have two SKUs for that. The 280731 on the upper right-hand corner, that comes with an IR receiver, hits the block, and it shoots out to six different outputs. Okay, so if you have six different sources in a rack, we well, can control them, okay? The other unit here down below is the expandable IR kit. 
And this is a bit more advanced because you'll see these little dials here. We can actually dial down or up the intensity of the IR signal. Where does that help? Well, if you've got six of the same cable boxes, sometimes you'll get bleed over and the emitters will actually hit two or three different cable boxes. So we, so we can actually tone that uh, signal or the IR intensity down so that way it's only hitting that cable box. So again, that's the expandable IR kit, IR-EXP kit. All right, let's talk about some audio solutions here. So we have a couple of audio extenders. First one being the digital audio extender, part number 280531. That's the silver box here, just showing you both units here. The idea here is that you have uh, digital audio coming in, either coaxial or optical. We can extend that over CAT6. I believe the range is pretty ridiculous. It's almost 1,000 feet. And that way it hits uh, the, the receiver here and then spits it out, uh, obviously, either coaxial or optical, whatever you came in with. If you need an analog audio extender, we've got one for RCA. Same deal here. It's going to extend that analog audio signal over CAT6, number 280535. What about converters? Uh, we have a ton of converters. So if you need a digital to analog, we've got two SKUs for that. Well, one's a basic, one's going to be a premium. The premium is going to be the 280515. That's pictured on the right-hand side here. So if you need to convert your digital to analog, we can certainly do that. The premium will also downmix Dolby. What if you need to go the other way around and convert your analog to digital? We have that 280519. So pretty simple converters going from D to A or A to D. And then we also have a digital to digital. That's this guy right here. So if you need to take optical and convert to coaxial or vice versa, we've got a special unit for that one too, 280565. All right, let's switch gears here to our specialty, HDMI cables. That's our bread and butter, right? So what sets us apart from our competitors? Again, we were one of the first adopters of HDMI. Sure, we understand that this is a commodity. You can get a, an HDMI cable from anywhere, even free from your cable service provider. So why do you need to buy a Vanco cable? Well, we focus on the internals, the guts, right? So if you buy yourself a brand new 8K or 4K display, you buy all these, all this source equipment. Well, you don't want to use a, the cheapest cable possible, right? So you want to use a quality cable, and that's what we provide. Okay, now we we certainly do some of the uh, external uh, metal casings on the connector. We don't do any fancy braiding. We focus really more on the internals and guts of the cable. Why? Because you're you're not supposed to see that HDMI cable. Let's face it, right? You can buy the previous HDMI cable. I see no point to it because that cable should not be shown, right? It should be behind the display in the walls. So again, we focus on the guts. What we focus on is the internal uh, cables or the wiring itself. It's all individually wrapped and insulated. Everyone does a gel, or a gel molding, but not everyone does the copper foil. And the copper foil helps out with interference. Now, if you're talking a simple residential application where it's one kilo box to one TV, probably not going to make a difference. The copper foil makes a difference when you've got an AV receiver, when you've got a matrix unit, and you've got all these HDMI connectors plugged in right next to each other. You can and will get interference, and I've seen it. The interference looks like snow, sparkling, and worse, uh, blinking. And then we also take that a step further on select cables. Uh, we do a, uh, a metal casing on the uh, connector itself to reinforce the strength of the connector. The HDMI connector design isn't the greatest. Anybody, even a child, can take their thumb, start pushing against this connector. And even the slightest flex has compromised your HDMI cable. You can go from 4K to 1080p. I've seen it. Now you're bottlenecking your entire system. Uh, where that's also important is the articulating displays where you can take out your TV, turn it side to side. That's where that stress is going. That's going on the HDMI cable or even worse on the port of the TV itself. So again, we want to reinforce the strength. Last thing I want to mention on this slide here is we do a secure fit, uh, secure fit feature, I should say. Uh, that's these little tabs on the connector itself, on the bottom top and on the sides. It, it uh, snaps right into any source or display, and it doesn't lock by any means. However, it's 45% stronger than your standard connector. It can hold up to seven pounds. So that is the story with our HDMI cables. Now at Snap One, you will find the following uh, HDMI series: the Ultra Slim. Premium HDMI certified cable. Why is this a big deal? Number one, it's full 4K. Number two, the thin, flexible gauge of the cable. Okay. 
so even though it's a thinner gauge cable, we're still pulling off full 4K. When I say full 4K, 4K, 60 frames, 444, and HDR. Uh, good for 18 gigs. And again, for your shorter runs, uh, this is a great cable to run because of the flexibility and thinness of the gauge. Last thing here, it is certified by HDMI themselves. So that basically guarantees that you're getting the full gamut, uh, full 4K uh, resolution. Okay, and there's obviously a ton of HDMI cables out there. If you want the best quality, uh, certainly go with the, uh, the certified series. Now, what if you need to go longer? Well, we do have some longer cables. Yes, these aren't as slim as the, uh, the, the cables that we just talked about. However, these will get the full 4K signal all the way up to 100 feet, okay? So if you're looking to go a little longer on your HDMI run, these are active HDMI cables. Again, full 4K up to 100 feet. Again, same deal in terms of the resolution, 4K, 60 frames, 444, and HDR. Now, keep in mind, this is an active cable, meaning there's an active chipset built in to the connector of the, uh, the cable itself. So it is directional. One will say source, the other connector will say display. The display side has the chipset built right in. And again, that's how we can pull off the longer length. Well, then you can say, well, Frank, that's not long enough. I need to go 200 feet. What do you got? Well, next cable series, we've got uh, fiber. Okay, so fiber HDMI cables, we're still using an active chipset, but we're also utilizing optical fiber to go even longer uh, with that full 4K signal up to 330 feet. Um, as you can see down below here, we've got lengths from 35 all the way up to 330 feet, and then two different series here. The UHD FBR is going to be your standard optical fiber cable, and the UHD FIB are for any plenum applications. So if you've got a plenum application that's required for fire rating, we do have the plenum uh, version available. And then last but not least for the HDMI cables, uh, we have 8K certified cables as well. So 8K certified cables we've actually uh, had for about a couple of years. Uh, 8K panels have been out for a couple of years already. Well, you might want to, you might say to yourself, well, what am I playing, right? Well, 8K content, yes, is, is slow to come out just like 4K. Eventually it'll be here. However, this is a big deal for the gaming industry, okay? Not only can it do 8K 60 frames, it can also pull off 4K and 120 frames. Again, refresh rate, that's super important for the gaming industry. That's where we're seeing movement on this, okay? So if you guys are doing any applications, maybe it's residential to where they need a, you know, a gaming system in their home theater, make sure that you're using an 8K cable. The other big advantage of this cable is the newest version or iteration of ARC audio return channel called EARC. For anybody who's not familiar with EARC, a uh, bigger pipeline, uh, ARC, the previous version, can only handle up to 5.1. Uh, this will handle anything above 5.1 and Dolby. Uh, so this is great for your home theater type setup. I mean, full surround, maybe Dolby Atmos. Uh, this is the cable to be used. Um, lengths include 1, 3, 6, 12, and 16-foot points of lengths. If you do need to go longer than that, yes, we do have active optical cables. Again, going back to the previous slide there. It is a fiber optic uh, cable hybrid and an active cable. So it is uh, directional 25, 33, 50, and 66 feet. So we're getting longer and longer, even on 8K uh, applications. Part numbers begin with UHD 8K. And again, all these cables, even the active cables, are certified as well. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all of our different HDMI cables. Uh, we have an HDMI cable for any application, whether you need to do 4K, 8K, you need a short length, long length, thinner gauge cable, thicker gauge cable, doesn't matter. Uh, we've got the cable for you. So, you know, this is a little cheat sheet of our HDMI cables. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a specific cable for an application, visit uh, your Stamp One uh, branch and they'll point you in the right direction or contact us at Vanco. And, and again, we can uh, give you guys a part number. All right, let's change gears here into some HDMI active stuff here in terms of uh, distribution products. The first thing I want to talk about here is our HDMI tester. What this is, is this is a source or display right in your pocket, okay? Uh, I've got dealers using this now who no longer bring, bring a monitor with them, okay? Who no longer bring an Apple TV or Blu-ray player or a laptop with them to test out the cabling, okay? So let's say you go out to a job site, you got to run your CAT6 cable for your HDMI extender, your splitter, your switcher, matrix unit, whatever. 
Uh, you go to the job site and there the TV hasn't been delivered yet. This is your TV that fits right in your pocket. Okay. Um, it's it's small, it comes with a little carrying case and it literally fits right in your pocket. Yeah, on the flip side of that, you come to the, the job site, there's no source. The TV has been delivered, but you don't have a source. This is your source right in your pocket. The way this works is that as a display emulator, you hook this up to your source. This could be your HDMI cable. It can be your extender, your splitter, whatever. Uh, as long as your source is turned on, as long as you've got this plugged into power, what you're looking for is simply signal and HDCP. So as long as these two little LEDs pop up, you're good to go. That means your HDMI extender, your cabling you just run, uh, you verify that works, okay? On the flip side of that, if you want to use this as a signal generator, great. Use the other port on the other side, hook it up to a display. Again, in between here could be your long-length HDMI cable. It could be your Cat6 HDMI extender, whatever. And uh, you know, for the resolution, you're utilizing these dip switches to uh, select a resolution here and then to select your HDCP. And based upon the combination that you picked, you'll either get a red, green, blue, or checkered screen. That, again, that lets you know that, hey, the cabling I just ran, it works. I've got a signal. Okay. So this is a great little HDMI tester that you can bring to the job site uh, with you in, uh, instead of lugging around uh, heavy uh, equipment with you. All right, let's uh, let's talk about our evolution line. Our evolution line is our pro series line of HDMI distribution products. So again, the extenders, switchers, splitters, matrices, HDMI over IP, uh, all the products within this line carry a 10 year warranty, which is very aggressive. Uh, when we first developed this line uh, eight or nine years ago, our focus was really developing 4K products. Obviously we've done that. We're switching gears to 8K. We're also switching gears to more commercial based products. So video walls a big, uh, deal to us. So we're going to start to expand video wall products, uh, multi-view products, uh, digital signage uh, based products as well. Uh, drivers for our matrices, HDMI over IP, um, AMX, Crest, Strong, Control 4, RTI, Align, and URC. We don't have a fancy control system, not to worry. Most of our matrices and even our HDMI over IP has uh, IP control or an app to use on iOS or Android. You did throughout every product is very important. I will tell you 10 years ago that uh, HDMI distribution technology industry-wide was a challenge, okay? I did tech support and I was doing tech support from about 7 a.m. all the way up to about 6.30 p.m. at night. Uh, it's gotten way better, okay? Uh, the technology, the products have gotten way better to where it is a uh, uh, compatible product we can use with, with any sorts of different combinations. Uh, so again, keep that in mind. It's gotten way better. So I'm not going to do deep dive into specific uh, SKUs here. Just know that we have all sorts of HDMI switchers and splitters. Obviously, with an HDMI switcher, you are taking multiple sources in out to one display. Why would you need that conference room type setup? Uh, maybe a display at home that only has two or three HDMI inputs, but yet we've expanded to four or five. So instead of replacing that TV, we can uh, we can purchase an HDMI switcher. Splitter is going to obviously be be the opposite. That's going to take one single source, and we can duplicate that to multiple displays. Why would you need that? Commercial, obviously, we can split out a single source, a different ball game, or sorry, the same ball game to different displays. Uh, at home, we can save on uh, renting out the uh, cable box from the cable service provider, and we can take that one cable box and send it to multiple displays in a residential uh, type uh, application, right? So again, keep in mind, we have different formats, uh, HDMI, in, HDMI in and out. We've got multi-format where this switcher right here uh, takes some legacy inputs, uh, VGA, and upscales and converts that to HDMI. I even have one that does even more than that, takes it further with uh, component, composite, uh, DVI, S video, in addition to HDMI. So that's a switcher that's great for, let's say, a classroom still with their old legacy uh, components. And then we've got splitters as well. So this is a, an HDMI splitter that not only takes your single source, and duplicates it to multiple displays, but also extends it at the same time, right? So typically if you've got multiple displays, they're further away, right? So we need the extension built in and we certainly have that. We've got three different SKUs, 1080p and 4K. Last but not least, this is uh, sort of our man cave in the box. This is a four by one switcher, which allows you to view one source at a time. Or if you're a big sports fanatic, 
all four ball games at once in a quadrant view. Okay, then we can plot you out from any uh, one of the quadrants. We even have one that's uh, built for computers with keyboard and mouse control. If you want to take four different security NVRs and show it on one large screen, you certainly can. So you can check out our HDMI switchers and splitters. Uh, I'm not doing a deep dive on individual SKUs here, but just wanted to point that out. Next up, HDMI extenders, probably our best-selling product category within the Evolution line. Okay, why? Because, again, limitation of HDMI is distance. It's how far you can go. Yes, you can do an optical fiber cable that goes 330 feet, but I would back that up with two CAT6 cables at the very least. Why? Because, again, it's HDMI, right? We may come out with a different version. Or, you know, a drywaller may put, uh, you know, a, a nail right in that cable and then you're kind of stuck, right? So HDMI extenders, the benefits of, of this is that we can all re always replace the HDMI extender units because they're outside of the walls, right? If there's a new version of HDMI, again, we're probably still using CAT6. Uh, in addition to that, we, we can also send control signals. So with our patented plug and play extender series, our 2006 uh, extender series, which Snap1 carries, uh, that's kind of grown into a family, if you will. Okay, so we've got a 1080p version, a 4K version, a version with IR, a version with USB. These are all plug and play. There's no doubts to mess around with. Uh, you plug in your source HDMI in, run it over a CAT5 or a CAT6, uh, different versions, 164 feet, maybe 131 feet, and then uh, spits it out HDMI to your display, and then also has IR, Okay. We've got a version with USB. So if you're working with a computer, a NAS system, a security NVR, anything that needs keyboard and mouse control, we have a version for that as well. So your security NVR could be two flights down, 120 feet away, but we can still control it as if it were right underneath that TV with keyboard and mouse. Okay, so different types of options uh, for HDMI extenders, wireless wall plate options, uh, full 4K with HDR, obviously. Now, 8K we're still working on. And then HD base T. HD base T is a great uh, technology that the industry uses. We certainly lean on it for a lot of our uh, extenders as well. So same deal here. I'm not going to bore you guys to death with uh, every single SKU. This is a cheat sheet uh, uh, on our HDMI extenders. Same deal here with HDMI cables. We have an HDMI extender for any application, depending on what you're looking for in terms of resolution, range, and the features. Okay, so if you need one with RS-232, you need one with Ethernet, audio breakouts, ARC, EARC, we've got it. In fact, we just released our new flagship extender not too long ago, the EVEX HDB3. It's HD base T 3.0. It's uncompressed 4K, but it's one of the few extenders out there that can actually handle ARC, let alone EARC, which it does. Uh, in addition to that, it's got the full gamut of features. So you're talking IR, RS-232, Ethernet, audio breakouts. As you can see, it literally checks off all boxes uh, in terms of features for uh, HDMI extenders. So again, check out our HDMI extenders. Um, obviously, that's point to point. We, we also specialize in multi-input and multi-output uh, configuration, so matrix units, right? So we, have, we do have a family of HD base T matrix units, so entry level uh, consisting of a 4x3 and 8x7. And then a pro series that consists of a four by four and eight by eight. In fact, our eight by eight is shown right here on the upper right hand corner. As you can see, we've got eight inputs, eight outputs or HD base T or CAT6. But in addition to that, they also have mirrored HDMI outputs. So we can connect up to 16 displays to this eight by eight. If you need audio options, you install this in a bar, restaurant, where they want to show sports, but have their audio, their music play over it. We can do that because there's a, a full-blown audio distribution matrix built right into this thing that's totally separate from the video uh, if you need it. So a lot of flexibility here uh, with these uh, HD base T matrix units. We have the drivers. They do have IP control as well. Now, we used to carry 16 by 16. Believe it or not, our 16 by 16 actually sold pretty well over the past years. However, uh, new technologies has kind of replaced it. And that new, new technology, I should say new, it's been around for quite a while is HDMI over IP, and we've got that as well, okay? HDMI over IP gives you the flexibility of kind of building your own matrix unit. Now, with the matrix units, they're great, but you are limited to the amount of inputs and outputs it has. So once we reach eight inputs, you're kind of stuck. You can't add any more inputs. You've got to move to a larger matrix unit. Well, with HDMI over IP, you can start off small and keep on adding to it. 
okay? Because it's over network, right? So uh, if you run out of ports on your Ethernet switch, stack another switch, daisy chain another one, and we've got more ports to play around with, okay? So again, this is HDMI distribution over a network. The other things that this can do in terms of sending audio and video signals to wherever you want it, we can also do digital signage. We can do video wall displays up to 25 displays. We can automate the system. And again, it has an app on iOS and Android. So if you guys aren't doing uh, HDMI over IP or haven't taken a look at it yet, uh, please do. Uh, I'm your guy to teach you all about it. In fact, I'll mention at, this, at the end, uh, we've got a learning management system, LMS, that has a module in HDMI over IP that's only about 30 minutes long. That'll uh, go over the benefits of HDMI over IP and run you through a user interface demo. So again, I'll mention that at the end. All right, let's switch gears here into Pulse Audio. So again, I, as I mentioned it, Pulse Audio is our line of just different types of audio solutions that honestly you guys came up with. Uh, we listened to our dealers, our distributors, and uh, we said, you know what, that makes sense. Let's push out a product like that. So with Pulse Audio, it's all sorts of different audio solutions. Uh, we've got Bluetooth products. We've got Wi-Fi streamable products. In fact, we'll talk about a, a unique wall plate that, uh, that uh, has been a popular seller for us. Uh, this line also consists of amplifiers, simple two-channel amplifiers, and distributed audio amplifiers as well. This is a number six by six audio distribution amplifier, uh, which is very popular. I'm going to run you through some specialized products here. This is our digital and analog audio extender over CAT uh, 5e, CAT 6. Uh, we talked about this uh, previously in our vehicle line. The Pulse one's going to be uh, a bit better in terms of uh, what it can do, uh, the connections. So if you want to come in toss link, coax, or even 3.5 millimeter, we can extend those signals, whether it's digital or analog. So it's all combined into one. Then we can extend that over CAT 6. And then we're spitting out uh, toss link, coax, or RCA. Okay. Uh, in terms of digital, does it up to almost 1,000 feet, analog, almost up to 600 feet, and again, part number is PA-EXTDA on this uh, unit. Next up, we do have speaker selector switches, uh, two different versions here. Uh, these are four pair stereo speaker selectors. Uh, pretty simple if you want to add a source or an amplifier and you want it to send it up to four different zones. One on the left-hand side is pretty simple. We're just turning on and off different zones. Right-hand side, we're doing the same, but with volume control as well. Uh, in my past life, I was an integrator, and I actually installed one of these in a dentist's office where, again, they wanted four different uh, zones, uh, four different rooms uh, to play music in. And that way, they can turn on or off each and every uh, room. Uh, so pretty simple, PA-SS4, and the SS4V is with volume control. Now, we also have amplifiers as well in both lines for uh, Beale Street and Pulse Audio. Uh, commercial and residential. For the commercial, we have a multi-channel amp. I should say we have two multi-channel amps, either two-channel or a four-channel. Both are going to be a 1,000 watts, basically an audio matrix. A lot of flexibility there. There's a full-blown user interface, DSP. You can really tailor uh, these amps to any application. Uh, the other great thing about it, or the great feature it has, it can run both 70-volt and 8-ohm, which is really helpful. So if you want to run this in a residential application, we can run uh, 8 ohm inside the house. We can reserve the fourth channel uh, for 70 volts. So for the patio speakers, right? Uh, commercial application, you want to run a subwoofer. We can run one of the channels at 8 ohm for that uh, subwoofer if you wanted to. Right hand side here, we've got a single channel 70 volt amplifier, two different versions, 40 watt and 100 watt. Swiss Army knife in terms of the connections, you got uh, analog. Uh, 3.5, you got uh, RCA, uh, you also have digital optical, and you also have a mic input with mic ducking, so you can use this for any PA type applications. Last but not least, actually I sh uh, should mention residential, a whole bunch of two channel, 2.1 channel amplifiers as well. What I do want to highlight, bottom right hand corner, our wall plate amplifiers, let me blow that up for you guys. So these are pretty unique. These are single gang wall plate amplifiers with a 40 watt amplifier built into the bank side. There are three different versions here. One on the left and one in the center are going to be Bluetooth. One on the left is the uh, the original one uh, that had great feedback. 
Uh, however, we found out that a lot of people were using this in hospi hospitality, office buildings. The problem there was that uh, you could not rename the wall plate. So we came out with an, alt alt I'm sorry, an alternate version called the BWA. We can rename it Gary's office. We can rename it Frank's office. I can put a pin on mine. So that way I'm not messing with Gary's and vice versa. Okay. And then we just released a Wi-Fi streaming version that comes with an app. It's called our Pulse Audio Streaming app, which also works with our Wi-Fi streamer. And now you can install this uh, uh, wall plate in each and every room in your house, an office building. And now we can send our Spotify, our Tidal, our SiriusXM to all wall plates if we wanted to as, a, as sort of a party mode. Think of that as Sonos, um, you know, obviously with, with our own app built in. And it's more of a, just a single gang built in uh, wall plate for that room. All right, let's switch gears here to some new products that we just released. This is our USB 2.0 extender, part number EVEX USB 2. Uh, why is this important? Because we're taking our USB, we're extending over CAT6. Um, reason for this, uh, webcams, okay? A lot of people try to use webcams with our KVM extenders. Doesn't work, why? Because we're not supplying sufficient enough power through those uh, HDMI extenders, okay? Uh, so you got to run a separate line for webcams, uh, and this is it. So in addition to webcams, obviously it's a KVM uh, switcher in itself, so you can do a printer, keyboard, mouse, webcam, so on and so forth. Uh, range is pretty ridiculous at almost 1,000 feet. Next up, uh, this is uh, fairly new. This is uh, very unique. One of my favorite products that we brought out so far, pen button programmable keypad. What this is, is a single game keypad with 10 buttons on it. This hooks up to your network or RS-232 to a device that you want to control. So if you've got a home theater application, your end user, your customer says, hey, listen, I'm not very good with, with iPads. I just want to press a single button to, to set up a theme or a scene for that home theater, right? So we can set up a sports theme, a movie theme, so your customer presses that button. Let's say it's a movie mode. You press that button. All of a sudden, the lights dim. The uh, the blinds uh, start to close. Uh, your projector turns on. The retractable screen comes down. Your Vanco matrix switcher switches to that source. And again, it automates different actions or multiple actions with just one press of the button. Obviously, home theater, classroom, conference room that you can set this up for. Uh, so very unique uh, type uh, solution. Uh, sort of like a little mini control system that's on its own. Part number EVCTL10B is the part number for this. Next up is our ARC digital audio extender. We talked about our HDMI extender with ARC. If you don't need video, if you don't need the HDMI for video, you just want to utilize your smart TV for the apps on it. But you need to send the ARC signal back to a rack. Obviously, again, limitation of HDMI is length. It's how far we can go. Let's extend it over CAT6. So you can attach this to your ARC equipped TV. We can take that to an uh, equipment rack where our Sonos distributed amplifier is. And again, now we're spinning out ARC and extending it over, over CAT6. Part number is PAEXARC1. Next product is our collaboration video bar. This is a video bar for any conference room type solution or application, I, sh I should say. All this is, is a webcam, speakers, and a mic all in one. Now, it's certainly much more than a simple webcam. The camera itself is 4K. It actually voice tracks using a six-ray mic. So if I was in a conference room, if I'm in the corner of that conference room, the actual camera zooms in on me. If I'm pacing around, it'll actually follow and track me as well. Uh, again, you've got speakers built in. What's great about this product, it's not proprietary at all. We don't stick with the software. It's plug and play. You hook it up to any computer. Again, your computer sees this no different than any other webcam, uh, which is great. Part number is PA-CVB1. Last product here is uh, we've actually, as I mentioned previously, we have partnerships with uh, different companies. This is another partnership uh, with a company called Tenmat out of Delaware, out east. Um, for the longest time, we've gotten inquiries on, hey, are your speakers fire rated? For the longest time, we had to say no. Now they are. Okay, so... Penmat, they are a leading manufacturer of fire-rated enclosures for both speakers and lighting. And all these, all this is is an enclosure for our speakers. Obviously, we would love to pair it with our speakers. However, 
If you guys are already using another uh, speaker, great, this is universal. It's going to work for any speakers. They even have additional SKUs for lighting, which we offer as well. Um, the technology is great. It's called intumescent material. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But what that is, that material, when it heats up to about 450 degrees, it expands to about 10 times its size. Okay, so the idea here is that obviously on the ceiling here, if you've got a fire and that's a speaker, well, guess what? That speaker is made out of plastic typically, and that'll start to melt. That speaker will drop down. Now you've got a big gaping hole in that ceiling. Guess what? Now the, the fire, the smoke can start to spread on the next floor. So what that does, enclosure does, it basically keeps the fire from expanding. And there's different fire ratings depending on, upon the SKU, but it's good for one hour or two hours. So the FF109-FRSC, excuse me, comes in a six pack that fits all of our Beale Basic speakers, our Sonic Vortex speakers, six and a half and smaller. And then if you're using our Sonic Vortex eight inch, even our uh, in-ceiling subwoofer, uh, that'll fit with the XL, which comes in a 10 pack. So again, if you guys are in need of fire rate enclosures, we've got them. Uh, last slides here I want to close up with. As I talked about, I'm the director of training for any training needs that uh, that you guys need. Let me know. I'm your guy. Okay, I can always set up a one-on-one -on -one webinar with yourself, with your staff, with your with your customer even. Let me know how I can help out for you guys. We also have a learning management system that's totally free to, to access for you guys, okay? We've got an HDMI 101 and 102 class on there. So if you're fairly new to HDMI, if you've got new staff that's fairly new to HDMI, great. Push them to this site. It'll train them about HDMI 101 and 102. We even have HDMI over IP and then another module on our Sonic Vortex speakers. So uh, it's available on our website. Uh, the link is uh, banco.talentlms.com or you can scan that QR code. I know Gary was talking about uh, incorporating this QR code in uh, in Snap One as well to push uh, dealers to that site. So again, let us know how we, how we can help in terms of the education uh, standpoint. That is my uh, specialty. Last but not least, we do have project registration uh, increments uh, of uh, different types of discount percentages based upon what uh, what you're spending for that job. So if you want to secure a job, great. Talk to your local Snap One branch. Uh, get the project registered. That way you guys have that job. It's not being shopped around and you guys are taking advantage of obviously a discount here depending upon the dollar amount. Uh, so then let us know how we can help out uh, you know, with saving you guys money. Okay. So that is all I had. Any, any questions at all? Yeah, guys, now's the time. Uh, there were a couple of questions earlier. We went through those. We're clear right now. Andre, Carey, Harrison, Jast, Kevin, Mike, Ricardo, Tom, let us know if there's any direction you wanted to take this in. But I think that was a very competent, co competent presentation, my man. And I'm always impressed on how yeah. you remember the, 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 the SKU numbers. And it just, you know, that's hard to do. And it shows it's, that you're the education guy. It's uh, 10 years of working with, uh, with these guess. products. And we moved from 280 numbers to finally some, some <laughs> numbers that make sense. So, no, but uh, ladies and gents, yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully we answered some questions. I love the product line. We've had it, you know, obviously, you know, throughout our stores for quite some time. Um, it's a it's a super important line for all of us. I love when you mentioned things like, you know, we we thought we were going to be out of HDMI, but we're still in it. You know, so we're going to continue to develop products that you know make it make sense, make it run efficiently, and so forth. Um. Masterclass uh, Prezzo, what was the HD base T3.0 model number and is it shipping? Thanks, Harrison. Uh, Harrison, thank you for that. Appreciate uh, the feedback. The HD base T3.0 model number is the EV EX HD V3. Let me go back to the cheat sheet slide and that way we can take a look at it. It's right here. So EVEX HDB3. And again, that is our newest flagship extender. This thing will do everything that an HDMI extender can. Uh, we've even gotten feedback from doing a show last year that uh, a big dealer, uh, they outfitted each and every truck with one of these units. Why? Because if they're traveling an hour, two hours, maybe even more to a job site, they come across a totally different application that the extender that was spec'd out doesn't meet. Well, they got something on the truck that can meet it, right? Because uh, this will do everything. So great question. Appreciate uh, that feedback. And it nice. is shipping. 
Yeah, it is shipping. All right, anybody else? You know? All right, good. Love the cheat sheets, guys. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to get the slide deck and a recording to you, this recording, and that'll be in your inbox by Monday. So um, in the meantime, if there's anything you, I could do uh, and, and hooking you guys up, no problem, or hooking you guys up with the product in the store, if you're not sure what uh, Snap One local store is closest to you, anything like that, let me know. Let's see what we got here. Harry, just saying thanks so much. Yeah, thank Gary, you. Gary. Thanks, guys. All right. Yeah, let's give them back uh, some time, some 10 more minutes of, of their day. And I really appreciate it here on the weekly webinar series, guys. Check your event section at the websites, and that's how you guys get registered. We'll continue to do that. I've always got great guests on this every single week. Absolutely. Let's see. Mike saying thank you as well. All right, guys. I think that's a, uh, that's a wrap. Look for my email, Frank. Thanks so much. And tell the team I said hello. Uh, you know, Steve and everybody else that you guys work with. And uh, looking forward to seeing you out on the road. And we get some uh, partner facing stuff going out. And um, yeah, send me some merch. Let me wear a hat. Absolutely, like we'll do. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll wear it proudly. All right, Absolutely, guys. we'll do, Gary. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate uh, everyone's time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye. -bye.